Welcome to the 10 Minute Entrepreneur Podcast, intended to equip and encourage business owners and aspiring entrepreneurs. Taught by active business owner, best selling author, and teacher, Sean Castrina. All right, six ways to move on after a failure. Wouldn't it be great if everything we did succeeded? I'm a 50 to 50, 50% of my great ideas do okay, 50% fail. Probably, realistically, one in every three things that I do succeeds at the level I want it to. So the fact is, is that you got to look at failure totally differently, but for the sake of a great podcast and because I get asked this question all the time, how do you move on after failure? Okay, you failed. What do you do next? Well, I can tell you this. Before we even get into this, if if failure is what it's going to take to keep you from succeeding, you will never, ever succeed because I have failed massively over my lifetime, expensive failures, humiliating failures, failures I never saw coming, but they happen. So just understand that you've got to be able to get back up after failure. If you want to be successful. All right, let me give you the six ways to do that. Number one is don't dwell on the failure. Listen, it happened. I I constantly hear people just bring up, you know, I had that business and it's just, you know, I don't know what happened. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. I'm going to have to get a couple different accents. I only go to this this southern draw. All right, but the point is this. You don't dwell on the failure. Again, I've had some colossal ones. I don't spend, I don't look backwards. I don't look in the rear view mirror. I look through the windshield and see what's ahead of me. What's ahead of me? Okay, so the first thing is, if you want to move on after failure, is you got, you got to let it go. You got to pack that, get rid of it. Don't carry it around like a knapsack with you, a backpack. Number two is how... This is important. So if you failed in your career, and, and I'm, you know, I'm an entrepreneurial audience, so obviously I'm assuming you had a business failure, a career failure. That, that's what I'm talking about here. Number two is how can I make money? Because I probably, if I failed, I probably just lost some money. Okay, <laughs> career-wise, I lost some money. I started a business, it failed, I lost some money. How can I make money the fastest way possible? I talked about that originally where I took a job selling cars. Well, I I knew that I would get paid at the end of the month on everything I did. Now I had one month to make a rent payment. And I believe it was like $1,250 at the time. So it was an all-in kind of bet. But it was sales. Sales was an easy way to make money. How can I make money the fastest way possible? I always tell people the worst time to start a business is when you're unemployed. Okay, my advice is get a job. Sales I like because I never want to get paid by the hour because that's a finite amount of money. So I want something where I can get commission, get a piece of the action. Okay, so how can I make money the fastest way possible? It's hard to recover from a failure broke. Money does soothe that a little bit. Number three is what do I have that I can leverage moving forward? Okay, let's look at this. I can leverage if I have good credit. Okay, good credit allows you to to get a loan. You know, I mean, you can get vehicles if it's a business that can involve that. You can lease things. You can buy, you know, you can do things when you have good credit. Without credit, it's very hard to do certain deals. Okay, number two is cash. How much cash do you have? I mean, cash is like oxygen, Moving forward, do you have a skill? Example, sales. I, I knew I would succeed at sales. When I took that job at the selling cars, I knew I'd succeed. Why? I was the number one salesperson at Cutco for a time in my regional area. So I, I knew I could sell. I, I knew I had that skill. I leveraged that skill to what? Number two, make as much money as fast as I possibly could. Number four, you network. Who do you know that can help you, can give a good word for you, get you in somewhere, maybe get you a job or get you a partner, you know, opportunity. I know this person, they're really good at this. And I know you're looking for somebody like that. And maybe you bring them into your company and you leverage it into something more. So you network. 
Okay, do you have industry knowledge where you can go into a company and bet on yourself? I've taken jobs for no money based on the fact that I would produce. And I prefer to do that. That way, I want them to know what I'm worth and let them, you know, I remember when I did that coming out of college and 90 days in, I took an envelope and, and wrote on it what I thought I was worth. I, I twisted every, you know, I, moved, I flipped, the, flipped it around. I proved to them what I was worth, that I could do what they wanted. And then I could ask for what I thought I was worth. So how can you, what, what do you have to leverage? Credit, cash, skill, knowledge, networking, you know, all these things, you, you got to you, you gotta leverage them. Why? Because number four is you've got to get a win. Where can I get a win? Just a small, easy win. Maybe it's a job where I can, you know, I, 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 okay, I'm in. And there's positions, you know, you can turn a job into a partnership. Well, how, how do you know, Sean? Because I'm looking for partners all the time. People come work for me, and they're crazy talented. I, I want to make them a partner. I want to make them a partner. I, I'll never forget. You know, I brought one of my partners in at eight fifty a week. He made, you know, he made almost a quarter of a million dollars last year and over 200 the last two. He, he did that. Okay? He did that. Well, he started out with a win working for our company. He leveraged it for many more things. But sometimes you got to get a win for your self-esteem. You know, watch a quarterback. In a game, what do they do? Typically, they hit some short passes real early on. Why? To build up confidence. Want to get a win. Want to get a win. You got to do the same thing after a failure. You need to get a simple win. This is not the time where you start your startup dream of a, you know, a $10 million company. Okay, start a company servicing this. You know, start smaller. You're coming off a failure, okay? Typically, when you lose a title fight, you don't come back and fight another champion, okay? You start with a little bit of a lesser fighter, build your confidence back up, and then you get that opportunity again. So you got to get a win. Number five, you got to fail forward. I always say about failure, there's three things about failing, okay? You've got to, you know, failing, it's, it's going to happen, okay? But one of the things in failure is, is fail early. Okay, if you can, if you can get your failures out as early as possible, it's hard to recover from failures when you get, you know, over 50, at least financially. So fail early, fail forward. This is point number five here. Fail forward. You know, where, what did I learn from this? What did I learn? See, I can look back at my failures and I can go bullet point on everything I learned because I milk it for everything it's worth. I had a retail business that failed. What did I learn from that? Never partner with someone that I don't have absolute certainty of their integrity. Absolute certainty. Number two is don't ever partner with somebody where you have no idea of the business and that you cannot step in and take it over if something happens where you're leveraged. You have no idea what's going on. I learned that. I learned that when you do a startup, don't sign a five-year lease no matter how good the deal looks. No matter how good the deal, $10,000 a month, five-year lease. $20,000 month to month. Take the month to month. Guess what? They'll still give you that deal three months from now. It, it's not going away. But me, oh no, five years, oh, this business is going to succeed. Now you got to try to figure out how to negotiate to get out of leases. What? I failed forward. I don't ever make those mistakes again. Number six. You've got to learn to reframe the failure. Stop saying failure and start, you, you come up with something else. I learned something. Okay. Yeah. I had a, you know, I had a business that didn't work out. Man, I learned a lot from it and it's made this newest business even better. See, when I share my failure, I quickly share where, what I learned from it and how much money I've made moving forward. I don't dwell on it. Let me say it this way. You cannot put a period after the event. There needs to be more to that story. You know, okay, my business, I went out of business and it's amazing. So I took this job actually working for one of our competitors because, you know, he understood that I under, you know, that I knew the industry. And then I ended up partnering with them 
or I end up starting my own, whatever. You got to reframe the failure. All right. Six ways to move on after failure. Hey, failure is going to happen if you're making anything happen. If you don't have any failures, you've never made anything happen. So six ways. How do you do it? You don't dwell on the failure. You don't dwell on the past. It's not something you constantly bring up. You know, not every sentence comes up with, oh, you remember that business that failed? You know, it's your conversation starter at every event. Don't dwell on it. Number two, how can I make money the fastest way possible? Listen, typically failure comes with either losing your job, losing your business. It re- Rarely do you fail and you made money off of it. Well, you know, I, that business went out of business, you know, that I did. And, and my money's never been better. I've never had more finances. No, there's typically a financial loss. So how can you make money the fastest way possible? There's a lot of ways to do that. I've done real estate deals, I, you know. There's how can I make money the fast? Number three is what do you have that you can leverage moving forward? This is credit, cash, skill, you, your, your network, people you know where you can make a phone call. They can help you. Industry knowledge, etc. But you need, to, you need to look at what you have that's an asset. Number four, where can I get a win? You got to get a simple win. Confidence. You got to get some confidence back. Okay, where can I get a win? Number five, you got to fail forward. What did I learn from this failure? Take stock of it. Number six, you got to reframe it. Stop using the word failure and start rewording it with, don't put a period after the event. Put, and I did this. And because of that, I learned how to do this. And because of that, I'm doing so much better with this. You got to reframe the failure. All right, Sean Castorina with the 10-Minute Entrepreneur Podcast, equipping, encouraging, and educating entrepreneurs in the least amount of time possible. You know, top 50 in more than 50 countries. Number one in Bermuda this week. All right, another country, and typically about every 10 days, we're number one in another country. Again, brought to you by Get Started Marketing. If you need more help with getting more leads, selling more customers, more, you know, eyeballs in your at your site, you just need... You don't understand marketing. You just don't. It's okay. GetStartedMarketing.com. They're incredible. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast.